Uh, welcome everyone to the Summer in the Parks Festival at sunny Bendigo, or is it windy Bendigo or rainy Bendigo? Uh, we're not really sure at the moment. At the moment it's sunny, but it uh, could change very, very quickly. My name's Brett Gilligan, uh, the event organiser and a runner with the Bendigo Harriers Athletics Club. And I'm beside Lockie Rayner, who has most generously driven up uh, from Melbourne today to uh, offer his services. Sorry we couldn't uh, put on as nice a weather as last night, Lock. Thanks, Brett. <laughs> um, it's good to be here. Um, we're underway. Yeah, a bit of a different setup for a race. So uh, as the camera pans, you'll be able to see a massive marquee over the track. There's cones galore. Uh, we've got a live band here on the infield. So uh, something a bit different for athletics. Uh, first, race is, uh, first race is just underway. We'll get to that in a moment. But um, what do you think of the setup lock? A little bit different to what you used to? Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to... Um seeing all the athletes run through that marquee. We just saw it on screen uh, there when the crowd gets up and about for the um, A races in particular. Um, it'll be great to see the atmosphere, and I'm sure the athletes will love it as well. Yeah, something a bit different for them. Um, it's certainly something they've never experienced before, so uh, hopefully it gets them excited and they can run really fast. Uh, we'll just go through this field. They're about, uh, about one lap in in this first race. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of unattached runners, actually, in Andrew Crawless and Frank McNamara. Uh, Ann Buckley from the Bendigo Harriers, as well as Alice Wilkinson from the Bendigo Harriers and Joel Reardon from the Bendigo Harriers. Young 11-year-old uh, in this field. So hopefully he can run a nice PB today. Paris Gadsden also running. She's up from Melbourne Uni. Yvette Palmer from the Bendigo Harriers. Kevin Shanahan going around in the Eagle Hawk colours tonight. Malcolm McLeod down from Echuca. I spoke to him earlier. He's looking to... Uh, Run on the track for the first time. Brody Schindler, also from the Bendigo Harriers. And rounding out the field, we have young Mac Ellington and Sawa Daskia, who is also unattached. So a few runners here, probably park runners, I'd suggest, making their debut on the track. Uh, many of them wouldn't have even seen uh, an event like this before. And uh, it looks like uh, Alice Wilkinson uh, in the Harriers' colours uh, leading this event through. Followed by Paris Gadsden there. And if I just get a look on that bib, uh, Andrew Crawless uh, coming through. So the field has separated out a little bit. Ann Buckley, Joel Reard and Yvette Palmer there. In spot three, Frank McNamara just going through in those. Looks like Mac Allington there in the uh, footy shorts. That's Mel McLeod. Young Brody Schindler there. Kevin Shanahan just coming first rate. We've got a few different seed times here and they'll start to spread out uh, throughout this 12 and, a half, 12 and a half lap race. Just for those uh, at home, we've actually got five races tonight. First one starting at 6 o'clock, which is going at the moment. Then our final race of the 5K Frenzy is the men's A race uh, starting at 8.15. So if you can stick with our telecast for the next two and a half hours, you'll end up seeing some absolutely fantastic races.
So welcome back. Just a little bit of a breakdown of what's actually going on here. So up in Bendigo, uh, the council up here runs a Summer in the Parks Festival. So they have free events for the Bendigo public and the Bendigo region every Friday night. And uh, this year they were looking to host an event uh, at the athletics track. Um, it suits their needs with our current COVID restrictions. They can make sure they've got to check on how many people come in and come out um, but they're also interested in actually putting on a race so the Bendigo Harriers have got together with the council and uh, we're very happy for their support to become part of the Summer in the Parks Festival looks like Alice Wilkinson is still leading this race she's lapped a few competitors I think she's just gone through 2k just looking at the clock Maybe she's got one more lap before she hits the 2K. She's going around about three and a half, four minute pace. 340. Field is stretched out all over the field, all over the track at the moment. Joel Reardon still sticking Dan Buckley around the top bend. Uh, Kevin Shanahan just coming down that back straight there. He'll be looking for a big weekend at Vic Country's next week in Ballarat. And that'll be Paris Gadsden coming down the back as well. So he made the big trip up from Melbourne today. Hopefully he can uh, get a good time on the board. And there's Ann Buckley and Joel. And I believe... Can't quite read that bib. Uh, they've been sticking together the whole time. So we come back to the front and through the tent. And Alice Wilkinston still setting a cracking pace. Just gone past Mel McLeod there, who's down from Machuca. And Andrew Crowell is just completing that lap as well. So he's uh, kept the gap of about 50 metres on Alice. He'll be trying to make that up a bit later in the race. Young Mac Elkington there, feeling the burn. So very lonely down on the back straight there. Far more crowd on the uh, on the front. Yvette Palmer certainly having a good time as she crosses the finish line there for her next lap. Mel McLeod heading around the bend. So back to the front, and we've got Alice Wilkinson again. Not quite sure how many laps she's got left, but uh, she's the clear leader in this race. Andrew Crowless just coming into shot behind her there. Gets a bit of support as she goes through that tunnel. Had a few people earlier on today tell me that there was a bit of a wind buffer under that tent. So next year we'll try and uh, put it all the way around, full 400.
So that's so uh, Dusky just coming down the back. Here's Mel McLeod. So we've got a bit of a range here between these runners. Seed time for Alice, who's leading this race, is around that 21, 22 minute range. Right through to our, uh, our slowest runner, who's somewhere around 35 minutes. So that gives you a bit of a range of this first race. The seed times will uh, tighten up a little bit in the next heats. But that's why we've got so many people spread out all around the track. Hopefully our lap counters are doing a, a very good job there just near the start line. So it looks like Brody Schindler there. Mel McLeod going down the back straight. Paris Gadston there, just near the pole vault shed. Checks his watch. Hopefully he's on time. Buckley Reardon on his tail. And that might be uh, that might be Frank McNamara actually. He's checking his watch at the 200 split. There is a clock over there. He could just look up and see that one as they head around that bottom bend here at Bendigo. And here they come up the front. So young Elkington there, just about to enter the tent. Gadston just behind him. And then McNamara has actually gone past. Oh no, that's Mel McLeod, sorry, my apologies. Joel Reardon there, he's decided to go past Ann Buckley. What's he doing there? He's cutting in. So a bit of a tussle there between Ann and Joel. Joel tucks back in now. As Frank McNamara and Mel McLeod go past as well. So that seems to be the group to watch at the moment. There's a bit of action going on there. I don't think it'll be long before uh, Joel pulls out from behind Ann Buckley and starts to make his way around himself. He's been getting a pretty good ride back there. Uh, Ann's one of the best cre uh, credentialed runners, uh, 50 plus runners in the state. Uh, regular podium finisher, regular podium finisher at uh, XCR meets. Alice Wilkinson there, just passing the start line again. She's hardly missed a beat, but we turn our attention back to the front. And just still a line here. It's Gadston and Buckley and Reardon. Nobody willing to really make a move. There he goes, though. Young Joel, just as I put the moz on him, he has gone around and he's motored past them. So we'll catch up with Joel soon in the back of this shot. It's young Alkington there, I think. But Reardon has certainly pulled away here. And he'll be uh, making his way down the back. I reckon he's already put, he's already put about 20 metres on that group. So uh, he's had the toe around for about the first half of this race and he's decided to open it up himself now. He's got a long way to catch Alice Wilkinson who's about 300 metres in front of him. But he might be able to catch Andrew Crawless who's uh, a bit closer. 
being harassed by some mascots as I speak right here. It's not every day you come to the track and you've got, uh, got mascots in Hawaiian shirts pulling funny faces. I need to go and entertain some of the kids, I think. <laughs> Far too old for this. So Reardon posts another lap and he's cleared out from Buckley and Gadsden. Brody Schindler as well there. So I think Alice would almost be on her last K. She'd be very, very close. Yeah, as I thought. So Wilkinson with two laps to go here. So 800 metres left. About 16 minutes on the, on the clock at the moment. Andrew Crawless there as well with two to go. Alkington and Palmer with four, I think. Mel McLeod with four. So Wilkinson down the back straight for the second last time. Crowless actually closing in by the look. He might be, um, he might try and reel her in before this race is over. And as we come back to the front, young Joel Reardon there going past Kevin Shanahan. Without wanting to put the moz on anyone, but uh, Joel, I believe, is our youngest competitor at 11. Kevin, our almost our eldest at 65. So it's one of the best things about athletics and running. We can have someone with a 50 year age gap competing in the same event. Mel McLeod about to pass young Mac Elkington there. Two to go there for Frank McNamara. So he crosses the line. But Alice is just about to pass Daskia and get the bell. So Alice Wilkinson with one lap to go. And Crowless has caught up. So he is having a big go here at Wilkinson. He's brought that back to about 20 metres. I don't think Alice will be too concerned about what's going on behind her, but Crowless is definitely concerned. He wants to win this race. So Wilkinson still leads, but Crowless is gaining with every step. He's cut that back to about 10 metres now, with 200 to go. Mel McLeod and Mac Elkington go past the finish line with two to go. Mascots entertaining the crowd. Reardon goes through to get the bell, but it's still Wilkinson. Down to about five metre gap as she enters the front straight. Buckley, Gadsden and Shanahan there. But Crowless has pulled out and he has gone past Wilkinson. So Andrew Crowless will win our first race here at the 5K Frenzy as he pulls out into about lane two. Hopefully he goes a bit wider, but he's crossed the line there. And Alice about 10 metres behind. So a great run there from Andrew Crowless and Alice Wilkinson. Bell lap for Frank McNamara and Kevin Shanahan. So well done to those two. Turn our attention to the back straight. Reardon there with 200 to go. I think he might actually be in second, uh, third position there. So Yvette Palmer there at the top of the straight. No, I think Yvette Palmer is in. Oh, is she about to get the line or is she about to get the bell? No, 
No, I think Yvette might have, uh, Palmer might have more than one to go. Yep, she's got the bell. She's away. She knows her count. But Reardon is certainly finishing. So Joel Reardon crosses the line in third position in the first heat. About 20 minutes on the clock, 2040, somewhere around there. So a great run from the young 11 year old. This is Mel McLeod. And he might have one lap to go. Mac Elkington with one lap to go also. No, two laps to go. Bit of confusion there at the at the finishing line. Hopefully our lap counters got it. Here comes Gadsden to finish. And Buckley also to finish. McNamara now, who is the oldest person in the field at 67. So a great job from him to come in just a tick over 21 minutes. Absolutely fantastic effort. Shanahan just coming up to cross the line now. And he has two to go, I believe, from that. No bell on that one. Down the back, and I know McLeod is on his last lap. So Palmer now heading for the finish line. Opens up that stride a little bit. She's going to cross in a touch over 22. So well done to Yvette Palmer there. So Shanahan with, we believe, two to go. Elkington also coming down to the line and he'll finish and Schindler will get the bell here. So Brody Schindler on his last lap. And Shanahan on his last lap. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone again. He's got 300 metres to go, the young man. But he's about spent. He's probably used to hiding behind the discus cage, but he's not, he's not aware that there's a TV camera on him. So we'll leave him on the back straight there. We'll leave Mac uh, Brody on the back straight. We'll turn our attention to Kevin Shanahan, who's coming down for a finish. He gives the crowd a wave under the marquee. That's what it's all about. That's what we're trying to create here at the 5K Frenzy. Shanahan crosses the line. He's run a lot faster than that, but he's got a big smile on his face as he thanks the, the lap counters. And young Schindler last on the track here, 200 metres to go. And we'll track him around. He's given his all. If uh, I know there's plenty of runners watching and everyone knows that feeling when they've given everything and they're very, very tired. Here comes young Brody. I'm sure he'll get a bit of a raz. He'll find a bit of pep in his step. Through the marquee for the last time. Yeah, he's, he's tracking a bit faster now. He knows the end is in sight. He gets a bit of a cheer through there. I can hear that from where I am. And he comes down to the line, and he will be a very, very happy young man. Straight to the barbecue for a sausage and the canteen for a drink. And that concludes our first heat of the 5K Frenzy. So we're due back on the track for the next race at 6.45. So we've got a bit of a break here, about 15 minutes. I believe our mascots are going to have a bit of a race up the front straight under the marquee. But the band is playing. People are singing and dancing. And, uh, and hopefully we can get a bit more of a crowd under that marquee for the next race.